The foundation of this course is built on the classical definition of trend. An uptrend is defined as a series of higher lows and higher highs. And a downtrend is defined as a series of lower highs and lower lows. This pertains to both a bar-to-bar -bar scenario and a pivot-to-pivot -pivot scenario. Now I know you think this definition is very, very simple, but believe me, we're going to get a lot of mileage out of this. Now let's take a look at a bar-to-bar -bar scenario to start. We'll be using the bar chart for price analysis in this course. Now let's take a close look at one bar in this chart. Let's take a look at this bar for example. It has four components. It has a bar high, a bar low, and also has an opening which is the little nub to the left and a close which is a little nub to the right. When we analyze price action bar to bar, we compare a bar to the previous bar. In other words, we'll look at a bar's high to see how it relates to the previous bar's high. In this case, we have a higher high. Looking at the low, we also have a higher low bar to bar. So based on this bar showing up as such, we can say we are in an uptrend bar to bar. This bar also has a higher high and a higher low, so this bar continues the uptrend and so forth. Higher lows, higher highs, all the way up. Once you have this bar here and then follows with this bar, we no longer have a higher high and a higher low. Instead, we have a lower high and a lower low. We can say that the trend has changed the bar to bar trend has changed from up to down. Now just as quickly in this particular situation we moved up again with the very next bar showing a higher high and a higher low. So by definition this is how we define uptrends and downtrends. There are however two slightly different scenarios. Let's take a look at this bar right here. This bar is known as an inside bar. An inside bar is simply a bar that is inside the previous bar's range. In other words, it has a high that is lower than the previous bar's high, but it also has a low that is higher than the previous bar's low. We may also have what's known as an outside bar. This bar here, this last bar, is an outside bar. An outside bar, of course, has its range outside of the previous bar's range. It has a higher high and a lower low. These two bars have the exact same low, but the second bar has a lower high. Now, this little bar here qualifies as an inside bar. There are two bars down here with the exact same high. This longer bar has a lower low. That makes this long bar a legitimate outside bar. These two bars over here have the exact same high and this little bar has a higher low. That makes this little bar a legitimate inside bar. An inside bar or an outside bar can have the exact same high or low as the previous bar. Inside and outside bars need additional bars to confirm trend because by themselves they are indecisive and they are not in a higher high, higher low or lower high, lower low relationship with the previous bar. An inside bar is considered a non-move. 
and we'll treat it as if it's invisible. Here the market has made an up move. Higher bar low, higher bar high. And then we get this inside bar. We will simply ignore it. Instead, we'll look at the following bar to see if it does have a higher low and a higher high compared to this bar which is before the inside bar. If we do have that, and we do, the uptrend continues. Here is another inside bar right here. We have a lower high and a lower low here. It's a downtrend. With this inside bar, we'll treat it like it's invisible and we look to the following bar to see how it relates to this bar prior to the inside bar. Yes, we have a higher low and a higher high. We are in an uptrend. And over here we have an inside bar as well. We look, of course, to the following bar to confirm the continuing downtrend. Yes, we have still lower high and lower low. Likewise, an inside bar here, treated like it's invisible, and this bar here confirms the lower high and the lower low causing this downtrend to be continuing. Here we have an interesting scenario. We have an inside bar here in relationship with this previous bar. So it's invisible. However, this bar right after it is also an inside bar as it relates to this same big bar here. And same with the next bar. Remember, these two bars are invisible, so this has to relate to this same bar here. Again, non-move as it does not take out the high and the low of that reference bar. Same with this one and that bar. In fact, all of these bars are non-moves. They're just going sideways. The market is simply treading water in this scenario. Outside bar trend confirmation. We can simply use the definition of trend to confirm trend direction following an outside bar. Let's take a look at some examples. This is an outside bar and what do we see following it? We see a bar with a lower high and a lower low, therefore downtrend. This outside bar here, what do we see following it? We see a bar that has a higher low and a higher high, so uptrend is the move here. Now we did not mention anything about using the opening price and the closing price when we're doing bar to bar trend analysis because they don't play a role in the definition. However, with an outside bar, you may want to take a quick peek because sometimes that would give you a clue. Now here's an outside bar right here. Now take a close look at the opening price and the closing price of that bar. Usually, but not always, that may give you some sort of clue as to which direction the confirmation may appear. In this case, because this shows bearishness as the closing price is lower than the opening price, we get confirmed with this bar to the down direction.